Hey, HasFit Tribe, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is the Total Body Resistance Band Workout. The only equipment required for this routine is one straight long resistance band. And while handles are recommended, they are not required. Follow along with me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to get going, yep. let's do it. Let's begin by warming up our bodies with a one arm reach plus knee raise. So one arm at a time, it's gonna be opposite side arm and knee reaching up. Now the purpose of this warm up is to get your heart rate up a little bit and at the same time warming up your overall core body temperature. Making sure to breathe on this one. And ideally we're getting that knee up to around parallel to the ground, but if you can't quite get it that high, that's all right. We're not gonna count any repetitions throughout the warm up or today's workout. We just want you to move at a pace that you feel comfortable with and push yourself. Let's breathe on this one. Get a little ab contraction as you bring that knee up and keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's warm up that posterior chain okay. with the pulling of the rope. So feet are shoulder width apart, sit back, weight in your hips. I want you to reach out and then pull back on that elbow. Left, then right, then left, then right. Keeping good posture, back is straight, and just pull that imaginary rope every time, pulling back with that elbow. Like, like you have a string attached to that elbow and somebody just pulling back on it engaging those back, upper back muscles and those lats on every pull. Sit back with your weight in your butt and in your legs and you'll even activate your legs on this one. Breathe, keep moving. It's a good time in this warm up to start thinking about what brought you here today to begin with. What is your motivation? What are you trying to get out of this workout? Use it as your fuel to fire your workout. Keep reaching and pulling back with those elbows right here. In three, two, one, zero. All right, next we're gonna do a straight leg kick plus twist. Okay. So start by putting your arms out to your side, parallel to the ground. We're gonna bring one leg up and twist into that leg. And we're trying our best to keep balance, depending on how tight your hamstrings and glutes are. Might be a little hard on this one. Yeah, the first few might be a little shaky. Yeah, and they usually are for us as well. Now, we're bringing our leg up nice and high, about parallel to the ground, but don't feel pressured into quite getting it that high. Just do the best you can. Exactly. If you're a if you're... little bit lower right now, yeah. then that's all right. Or maybe you start low and start to loosen up and get it a little bit higher. Again, not a race on Ooh. this one. This is just an active stretch. It's also gonna help us get our heart rate up a little bit. Keep breathing, keep moving here for just last 10 seconds on this one. Last warm up move. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Warm up is complete. You ready I'm to get excited. this thing started? I'm excited, I'm ready Hope to you go. Are too. So let's go ahead and grab that band. Now, we're pretty much just gonna use the same band throughout the course of this workout, but if you have different resistance level, uh, different strength bands, feel free to mix it up. That's right. So we're gonna get started with the combination move. We're gonna do a bent over row plus tricep kickback. So let's go ahead and stand with both feet on your band. And depending on the strength of your band, you may need to uh, take away slack or add slack. So I'm gonna choke up a little bit on this one. Again, depending on your resistance, you have to make it work for you. Bend over on a 45 degree angle. We're gonna pull back on our elbows, row, and then tricep kick back, extend at the elbows. Reverse it, so it's four parts. One, two, 
three, four. That's it. One, two, three, four. This is a great total body move. Work in your lower body just to help stabilize you, as well as your back, triceps, core, all getting hit and working on this one. Make sure to emphasize all four parts of the move every time. One, two, three, four. And on that tricep kickback, we're trying to get our upper arm parallel to the ground. So we don't want those elbows pointing at the ground when we do it, but instead getting those elbows up nice and high as we pull back. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Just one set of this one and five, four, three, two, one, zero, break. Excellent. Nice movement. Okay, so I'm gonna actually move up in resistance a little bit for the next one. Moving into a front squat. So feet are shoulder width apart, lower body movement on this one. Again, getting as much slack as you need. Go and bring those hands up into rack position. We're gonna break at the hips first, then bend at the knees, getting down into those hips and thighs are parallel to the ground, and then extending back up. Making sure to breathe, we're br breathing in on the way down and then exhaling on the way up. Keep those knees out on this one. Don't allow them to collapse in. Keep that back nice and straight. And keep your core nice and tight throughout the entire movement. Now the front squat really puts the extra emphasis and resistance on your quads. So you may be feeling some quad burn. That's all right. It's on purpose. That's how we know it's working. But again, that's why we emphasize and tell you to go at your own pace. That's it. And if you need to switch out and adjust your resistance level, feel free to do so. Let's do this one for just 10 more seconds. We're almost there. You got it. Fighting through that burn for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, let's move into your upper, uh, upper body move next. We're gonna get into a staggered position. Put that band locked behind your back foot. Again, let's bring those hands up to a rack position. Palms are facing forward. We're gonna extend and press straight up. Keep your back tight, core stays tight. Breathe, extend those arms straight overhead. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Ooh, this is an awesome move. It's a great one for your shoulders, triceps, core, all getting hit on this one. You got it. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with, but at the same time, pushing yourself. Let's go. Think about what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What are you working on? Every repetition getting just that much closer. Come on, fighting through everybody. We're right there burning with you, Hasfit Tribe. Let's go. Let's hit this one for the last 10 seconds. We're almost there, almost there. Come on, for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ooh, Excellent. Good burn. Let's, speaking of burn, let's burn out that core next. Head to the <laughs> floor. How did you know? Okay, so for this one, I'm going to have my feet up while I wrap that band around both feet and then grabbing the handles here in front of me. And I'm actually going to leave my feet on the ground here. So my heels on the ground. We're going to perform a Russian twist, twisting side to side while pulling against that resistance. Now, it's just not your arms moving back, right? But instead, we're actually pulling and twisting and rotating our core. And we want to lean back on a 45 degree angle and maintain that same angle throughout. So if it's too easy for you, either you're not leaning back far enough or it's time to pick those feet up and increase the intensity. And vice versa, if it's too hard, you can come up a little bit and put those feet down. It's a great one for those obliques and your overall core. You got it, keep pushing, keep fighting. Come on, you're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here. That's right. Right here, rep by rep. You got it. Come on, we're gonna stop when we're done. We're not gonna quit when it hurts. Let's hit this one for the last 10 seconds. Almost there, almost there. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All, All right, right, come on back onto your feet. 
We're gonna burn out those shoulders next. Again, oh, I lost my handle. We're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart and we're gonna move into a side raise. So putting both feet on that band, hands are at our side to start, palms are facing inward. Going to come up until those arms are parallel to the ground. I'm gonna reduce my resistance a little bit, there we go. And slowly return them back. And again, if you need to adjust your resistance, either with a different band or maybe just by using one foot will make it a little easier. Mm -hmm. A bunch of little tricks you can do with these resistance bands to make the exercises easier or harder. And if this is too easy for you, then you can double up and perform the exercise from there. Okay. Again, bring those arms out to parallel to the ground and really focus on controlling that descent as well. And keeping those wrists nice and straight. We definitely don't want you curling those wrists up at the top. That's it, we don't want lazy spaghetti wrists. Nope. We wanna make sure we're engaging those forearms as well. And don't just allow those arms to flop back Ooh. down. Control it. Oh, that lactic acid's kicking in. We're right there with you. These last 10 seconds, come on, Hester Tribe. Pushing through that burn. We're feeling it too for five, four, Three, two, one, ah, zero, excellent. We're gonna move into a lower body plus arm movement next. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a reverse lunge plus curl. And I'm actually gonna do a split squat plus a curl. So to make my band a little bit shorter for this one, I'm gonna wrap it one time around my foot, but totally optional. Feet start shoulder width apart. I'm gonna step back and drop both knees till they're at a 90 and perform a curl at the same time. And I'm dropping back into a 90 degree angle too, but I am staying in the split squat stance. Again, ideally you're dropping both knees until they hit a 90 degree angle and then you're coming back up. Trying your best not to allow that knee to come too far over your front foot. We're curling up at the top, curling those pinkies in and squeezing our biceps up at the top. Keeping your core nice and engaged throughout the entire movement. And we're gonna switch lead legs halfway through here. Definitely burning out that lead leg. For sure, I feel it. We're feeling it too, as Fit Tribe. Remember, thousands, maybe millions of us at home feeling that same burn you're feeling. Working together here. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, same move. Just give you a couple seconds here to get set up. Again, I'm wrapping that run around my foot. Make it work for you. Here we go. And begin. Ooh. Again, stepping back, dropping both knees to a 90, squeezing those biceps up at the top. Love these efficient moves. Getting so much in in a short period of time. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. Just keep breathing. Not hold your breath on this one. You will regret it. Whew, feeling an arm pump, everybody. <laughs> I like it. All that blood rushing to your arms. Must be working. Here we are. Nobody said it'd be easy, but it will be worth it. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, strictly an upper body move next. Go ahead and grab that band equally on both sides. Throw those handles back behind you. Arms come straight up overhead. Definitely. Try not to smack yourself in the face. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> so with one arm, we're going to pull down and do a single arm lat pull down. So one arm just stays straight. And then that opposite arm, you're pulling down on that elbow, engaging your lats as you pull down and squeeze that back muscle. Adjust your tension as needed. Yep, the more slack you have, the easier it will be, the less slack, the harder. Again, anytime we're doing a roll like this, picture somebody's got a string and they're pulling down that at, down on that elbow. So you're not pulling down on by your hand, but instead let that elbow be the guide and that'll ensure you're hitting the right muscles. Excellent. Again, half and half, splitting each side equally. Let's split sides, switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. All right, same move. Arms, shoulders, back, Ooh. all starting to feel it here. Definitely. We like it. Only one set of this one. Keep pushing, everybody. Think about how good you're going to feel when this workout is all said and done. That core tight, locked and engaged. 
Come on, here it is. You versus you on this one. And you get that feeling, that temptation to hit the pause button of this video. Remind yourself what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What are you looking to achieve and what's it gonna take to get there? Come on. Whew, it burns so good. Yep. Burns so good. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Whew, let those arms shake loose for a second. This next one's really gonna hit that posterior chain. Let's start with our feet shoulder width apart, stepping on that band on both sides. Gonna give you, give you a couple different variations for this one. We're gonna do a good morning. I'm gonna bring my hands up to rack position by my chin. And I'm actually gonna leave mine right here at my, at my waist. So start with a slight bend in your knees, take those hips and drive them back behind you. Bend over so your upper body is parallel to the ground and then drive those hips forward and squeeze your glutes up at the top. So feel that stretch in those hamstrings as you drive those hips back and then squeeze your glutes up at the top. Woo wee! Keep that back straight. <laughs> I definitely feel this one. She's feeling it. We hope you are too. Again, really emphasize pushing those glutes back behind you like you're trying to touch your butt to the wall That's behind right. you. That'll help you engage those glutes and hamstrings. And keep your head in line with your spine. Yep, we don't want your head up or down. Nope. Making sure to breathe on this one. We're breathing in on the way down, breathing out and exhaling on the way up. This one's all about that posterior chain. Feel that stretch. Notice how we start with the little bend in our knees and we keep that same knee flexion throughout. So we're not going down and turning it into a squat. Not much left on this one. Squeeze those glutes at the top every time. Don't forget, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Let's go five, four, Three, two, one, zero. All right, let those arms relax for just a second because you're not gonna get a bunch of a break. <laughs> Moving into a standing twist. So from the same position, bring those hands up to your chin. Bands on the outside of your elbows. Now we're gonna twist side to side. Little bend in those knees. Don't have them locked out. And we're gonna just keep it tight and close to our body. Get those obliques involved. Get that core involved and twist. Now, depending on your flexibility and your range of motion here. You might just be tight, little ones, 45 degree angle, or you might be able to do a full 180 side to side. You decide what works for you, what feels best for you. Yep, Whatever work you at do, your own pace. That's it. Don't hold your breath though. Keep breathing, keep moving. You got it. Getting stronger with every repetition, burning calories with every repetition, getting that much closer to your goal. Right here, come on, stronger together, everybody. Come on, burn them out, burn them out. How many can you get in this a lot of time period? Keep those abs tight and engaged. Don't just be moving back and forth, but instead really focus on contracting those abs. That's right, move with some purpose here. That, ooh, move with purpose, I like that. Squeeze them, squeeze them. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. Ah. Relax those arms for a second. We're moving to a low band fly next. So we need that band set up behind your back foot. We're gonna get into a staggered position. Try to keep that back heel down on the ground. Now we're gonna do a low band fly. So palms are up on this one. And now we're gonna pull up and squeeze that chest up at the top. Nice and controlled. So arms are a little out to the side at the bottom. And then as they come up, you're gonna squeeze and bring those pinkies together. This one's working your lower chest muscles, the pectoris minor and your pectoris major, both those chest muscles as well as your shoulders. A little bit of biceps, but we're trying to maintain that same elbow bend throughout. So we're really keeping our biceps out of it, forcing our chest and shoulders to do the work. Excellent. Making sure to breathe. You got it. One wrap right into the next. And if you need to switch up that resistance level, feel free to do so by using a lighter weight band. Control that descent as well. This one's flying by, not much left on this one. Let's go, last 10 seconds, we're almost there. Come on, control that descent for five, four, three, two, one, zero, excellent. 
All right, let's work that lower body next. We're gonna move into a squat. So both of us have our feet shoulder width apart on this one, but I'm gonna bring my hands up to a rack position. And I'm actually just gonna leave my hands right by my side. So it just a uh, difference in the resistance level of the band. Mm -hmm. Feet are shoulder width apart, weight back on those hips. And then this time it's a little bit more of a back squat. So now it's a little more evenly distributed from that first front squat we did. So evenly distributed between your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Either way, we're kicking that weight back on our hips every time, keeping our feet flat, back stays straight. Knees are out, don't allow them to collapse inwards. And ideally, again, we're going down until those thighs hit about parallel to the ground or maybe even a little bit below. If you can't quite get that far, that's all right. Just go as far as you can while maintaining proper form. Keep your head up and keep your head in line with that spine. Come on, one rep right into the next. Burning those legs out. We feel it too. Come on, let's go. When those legs get too tired, time to squat with your heart. Comes all mental. It's all in your head, not even physical anymore. Just keep it moving. What do you got right here? How many can you get, Hasby Tribe? How many can you get? You versus you. Fighter, not a quitter. Here it is, right here, last 10 seconds. Come on, get there, get there. Almost there for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Whew. Shake those legs out, moving to the floor for the next one. Okay. We're gonna lie down flat on our backs. We're gonna do a lying pullover. So this one's gonna be for your upper back, your lats and your chest. Putting the band around both feet and then go ahead and put those hands down at your side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my legs up. And I'm actually gonna keep my feet on the ground here. Now we're gonna pull over, keep them pulled, palms down. Nice and controlled on the way back and breathe. Again, I'm keeping my feet up, which is gonna engage and work my abs throughout. Totally up to you if you want the little extra credit or if you're better off with your feet down. Nice and controlled, pull them back, using your lats as well as your chest to pull that band till your arms are almost parallel to your body. And then again, nice and controlled on the way back. Either way, I want you to focus on keeping that lower back glued to the ground on this one. We don't want a big arch between our back and the ground. So really put that lower back down. Making sure to breathe. And don't forget to adjust your tension on your band if you need to. If it's, feeling, if it's feeling too easy or too hard, you can adjust it. And a quick and easy way to do that for this one is to go ahead and bend your knees. So again, same move, just with my knees bent, is gonna reduce the resistance level on this one. You decide what's right for you but we're almost done here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, keep in a similar position for this next one, but we only need one foot on the band. We're gonna perform a lying leg extension. So with one foot on the band, go ahead and bring those arms up overhead. I'm gonna keep my opposite foot off the ground, bring that knee back and then extend your leg. And of course, again, I'm leaving one of my legs here on the ground. So this is working both your shoulders as well as your legs, keeping that band in position. And again, if you need to make it a little easier, on this one, you can actually bring your hands in closer to your chin and to your chest. You decide what's right for you and your band and resistance level. And the length of your band is gonna play a role as well. Exactly, so adjust as needed. Straightening that leg, bringing that knee till it's around a 90 degree angle, and then extending it and squeezing that quadricep. It's working your hamstrings as well as your glutes and quad. Switching legs in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I'm gonna sit up and switch legs or switch feet that that band is on. Very little downtime and get right back into it. And switch your legs very carefully. That's it, try not to let that band slip off. A lot easier to wear shoes on this one. Breathe, getting that full extension. And I still have that opposite leg up, working on those abs at the same time. The killer total body move right Definitely. here. Definitely. Whew, easier to find a body part that isn't being worked on this one to, than to name all of them that is. 
Just keep pressing, keep moving. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Let's go. That's it. Don't quit when it hurts. We're going to stop when we're done. Come on, almost there, almost there. Let's go last 10 seconds on this leg. Fight through it, everybody. Fight through it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ooh. All right, we're going to sit up for the next one, and we're turning over. We're going to finish with a bang here, and we're going to do a banded push-up. So your setup on this is going to be determined by the strength of your band and your ability to do push-ups. So we're going to set up with this band ideally underneath your arms on this one and underneath your elbows. I'm going to do this push-up from up on my feet. And I'm going to do them from my knees. So you decide again what's right for you. The more slack you get rid of, the tighter it's going to be. Go ahead and trap the band in between the ground and your hands. Core stays tight. Band is up around your upper back. And begin. Breathe. Ideally, we're in those elbows until they reach about a 90 degree angle and then we're pressing back up. Getting full extension. We don't want little baby push-ups. We're going all the way down and all the way up. Now, that means dropping to your knees or getting rid of your band. That's okay. But we're going to give it everything we got right here. That's right. You're almost there. And we're going to empty that tank out. Whatever your all looks like, give it right now. One wrap into the next. Squeeze your chest up at the top. This is making it a little bit harder at the top by removing that momentum that you usually get in a push-up. It's called an accommodating resistance. Makes it harder up at the top. Squeeze your chest, triceps, and shoulders. Abs stay tight. Come on, everybody. This is it right here. Think about what brought you here. What are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? And what's it going to take to get there? Come on, let's go. Fighting together, getting stronger together. That's right. Let's go, last 10 seconds. Don't give up now. Come on, tribe, keep fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ooh, I'm burned out. Nice work, you, everyone. You made it. Excellent yes. work out there. Excellent work, Claudia. Ooh. All right, we're going to move into a, a light cool down. And the purpose of this cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down and at the same time get, gain some extra mobility. Okay. We're going to start with an upright external rotation. So let's go and get both of those elbows to a 90 degree angle and up out at our sides. Rotate those hands back. Feel that stretch in your shoulders. And then forward. Just rotating at a 90 degree angle. We did a lot of shoulder work today, and this is just an opportunity to loosen them up and do some recovery work. Oh, this feels nice. Pulling back on those hands every time, getting them back as far as you can, keeping those elbows elevated. Excellent. It's that time of the routine where you can take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. All right, on this last one, we're gonna pull those hands back and hold, just hold, hold, hold. Ooh, burn so good. Keep those elbows up, arms out, hold it, hold it, hold it, pulling them back for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake them loose. Ah. Okay, we're moving to the floor. We're gonna work on our hips next. I'm, we're gonna do a 90-90 stretch. So both knees are gonna be at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna try our best to sit up. Now, if you need to and you're cramping, you can lean back a little bit to take off the resistance. Or if it's a little too easy for you here and you're not really feeling any stretch, you can transition into a pigeon. Therefore, you can pull in your one foot and then lean forward on that leg, bringing that heel to your hip flexor. You decide which one of these variations is appropriate for you today. We're just gonna hold right here and breathe. Excellent. Big deep breaths in and out. Holding on this side for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna switch sides next. So again, either into that 90-90, good posture up, feeling those hips engaged and stretching. And if you'd like to pull in that one foot 
and you then transition into a pigeon. Great one to loosen up your hips, your piriformis, little hip flexor, all getting hit with this one. I like these mobility moves that hit more than one body part at the same time. Again, all about efficiency, especially when you're working out at home. Mm-hmm. Trying to get as much in as short period of time. We have the tendency to, to neglect certain body parts when you work out at home, so. That's it. Well, and anywhere, really, of course, too. It's true. It's yeah. true. But yeah, recovery isn't always the sexiest thing you can do, so no. a lot of times people overlook it. But it's so necessary. Here we are in three, two, one, zero. All right, coming back up. We're gonna transition to a little yoga-inspired move next. We're gonna do a cat-cow. So let's come on to all fours for the next one. We're gonna go back and forth. So let's go ahead and start with the cat. So bringing your back up, pulling from the middle of your back, bringing your chin in to your chest. Like somebody's got a string pulling from the middle of your back. And then we're gonna reverse it. Slowly bringing that sternum to the ground, pulling your head up and chin up to the ceiling. I usually exhale in this movement right here. Yeah, good. And then let's inhale and as we reverse, breathing in as you again bring that chin in to your chest and pull up from the middle of your back. Nice and controlled through these transitions. Let's go back. And exhaling as you bring that sternum down, shoulders back, head up, chin up to the sky, the glutes up as well. Breathe. Do not hold your breath. And let's go back through one more time, bringing that chin in, pulling from the middle of your back. And almost feel that spine and vertebrae one by one come into place. It's a nice flow and almost a dancing rhythm to it. All right, last time, sternum to the ground, chin up, and feel that stretch in that spine. Excellent. Breathe. And three, two, one, zero. Relax and slowly come to our feet. We don't want to pass out here. All right, we're going to finish with a posterior shoulder stretch, just a classic shoulder stretch. Good posture, shoulders are square. Bring one arm across, and with that opposite side arm, we're gonna pull and hold it. Now for you and your flexibility, that might look like this. It might look like this arm all the way wrapped around. Again, just make the stretch your own, but it's just a static stretch. We're just gonna hold this position and breathe. You did it, you made it through. That's right, we're so proud of you for sticking with us to the end. Wasn't easy, but it nope. will be worth it especially when those results start kicking in and you know, other people start noticing That's all right. the work that you've been doing. It's called consistency. That's it. Let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose, opposite side now. You know, everybody's looking for a secret. Everybody's looking for the magic formula, but let me share it with you right here. Stay consistent and trust the process. Yep. It's that simple. You have to be patient. Preach coach day after day it's not <laughs> going to come overnight but stick with it and you will get there that's right that's it let's hold it for five four three two one zero boom check it off the list another one in the books you made it nice work out there thank you so much for joining us if you like today's workout and you've been working out with us for a while, you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you that you please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout routine with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs yes. up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss a brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out hasfit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one, as well as our free complete fitness programs and meal plans. And if you are on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, or Instagram, come find HasFit and connect with us because we want to connect with you. Thank you so much for giving us the privilege of serving you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.